Okay, today I'm in uh, Guruman Linux, KDE 18.0, it's a new spin. Let me just show you around. Um, click on the menu, start here, development, you've got a series of things there, education, mathematics, we've got LibreOffice Math. <clears throat> under, under graphics, we've got GwenView, and uh, let's go ahead and open up GwenView. You can uh, review pictures uh, in GwenView, and here it is. Nice little application. Um, let's click on one here and open it up, so you can see that uh, it renders it fairly well uh, in the operating system. Let's see the version here of GwenView. It's 18.08.3. Uh, it's probably the latest version, actually. Let's go ahead and close that. Um, and let's go ahead and close GwenView. Now let's. Uh, go into graphics again and take a look at uh, we've got Inkscape, we've got uh, Scanlight which is a scanner internet here we've got uh, uh, Firefox go ahead and click on that by the way the build that I did on the uh, compiling for the ISO here I did several things and uh, uh, I've added a lot of applications that were not out of the box <coughs> in um, Manjaro, so this uh, Guru Mon Linux is based on Manjaro 18.0. Okay, so uh, click on a new tab here in uh, Firefox. Firefox is my favorite web browser. And let's go over and look at the version that we have running here because uh, I asked it to install Firefox. And we're running uh, Quantum 63.0.1, which is uh, la the latest version, I believe. That's very good. Okay, let's go ahead and close Firefox now. And um, let's click the menu again, start menu. And let's come up to Internet and go across. I've got GFTP, which is a GNU file transfer protocol. I've got a personal cloud at 192.168.1.157. And uh, the username is Dan Calloway, all lowercase. I'm going to be switching it over to FTP. I'll access it that way, although I can access it as SSH2 as well. And so let me go ahead and uh, it's FTP. Go ahead and click Connect. It's prompting me for my password. So I have connected to my personal cloud. It's a 5 terabyte personal cloud. We put in the password and click Connect, and I'm connected. Okay, so uh, we're looking at the structure here. Uh, in um, my personal cloud. Got a ton of stuff up here and I haven't used uh, probably a more than a terabyte uh, of, of actual storage on this uh, network attached storage. <clears throat> Alright, so let's, uh, let's bring abstract folder over in the pictures folder on the local system and there it is, abstract. Let's go ahead and close out uh, FTP and let's fire up Dolphin. I left Dolphin in here in uh, Guruman. Even though Dolphin does have some security issues, I also have PC Mon FM or PC Man FM, I guess is the way it's pronounced. Uh, but anyway, you can see that the pictures made it over okay. Alright, so let's click on uh, menu again and or the start menu and go back to internet. You see we've got several other things here. Uh, Qubit Torrent is a uh, torrent application. Uh, Kden Live is uh, another application under multimedia and it's used to edit videos uh, and there it is. Uh, it is a, an open source free application. Uh, very nice one as, as a matter of fact. Okay, um, I do not use it in Windows but I do use it in Linux a lot. All right, so the version here is 18.03.08.3. Okay, and so let's uh, let's go back to the start menu and come to multimedia, and let's see, VLC Media Player uh, is actually installed here. That's what I'm using uh, to uh, look at my videos here in Linux. So let's go to video folder, but I don't have anything there, so. Unfortunately, I can't play anything, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel here. And um, let's take a look. Oh, let's go ahead and close it. Um, all right, so 
let's go back to Office, and now let's go down to LibreOffice Writer. <clears throat> the uh, Writer is the word processor, as you know. And I'm running the latest version here of LibreOffice. Should be six dot something. Uh, but here it is. Um, and it's compatible totally with Microsoft Office. I don't have any uh, Microsoft TrueType fonts installed yet. I will do that later and I will also incorporate that in later revisions of uh, Guruman Linux. I'll incorporate those automatically. So let's uh, click on About and you can see that we're in 6.1.3.2 version which is the latest version of LibreOffice. Alright, let's go ahead and close that out now. And uh, let's come on up to, um, let's see, settings, uh, add software, add remove software. Um, let's see if only Office is available in the repositories here. So I'm going to click in here and type in only. And I don't see it, so I don't think it's available there. I may be able to get it through PAMIC later. I do have PAMIC installed here, by the way. Um, Kate's already installed, it looks like. It's got a green square next to it. And let's see, let's, uh, what else can I look for? Um, OBS, I think I already saw OBS. Yeah, OBS Studio is already installed. And so I don't have anything there to install. I'm going to close this out. All right, let's click the menu again and come up to multimedia and OBS opens right up here on the system. Uh, OBS is your uh, open broadcaster software. It's wonderful software by the way. Um, I use that to develop a lot of videos and I put them up on the web on YouTube. Alright, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, close out OBS. Go back to the start menu, see what else we have. Under Settings, uh, so we already looked at Add Remove. Let's look at this one. This is your Manjaro Settings Manager, which I incorporated uh, here in uh, Guruman. Here's your hardware configuration. The Video Virtual Box uh, drivers are installed here. It's open source. The Video v Visa, uh, or Visa, yeah, you pronounce it, they're not installed, but they're available if you want to use those. Uh, and that's basically for uh, VGA. Um, okay, here we've got English United States uh, uh, for our keyboard settings. Now into the kernel. Uh, we're running the latest kernel, 4.19.1-1. It's running and installed. And it's the long-term service recommended uh, kernel, but you can go down to a lower version if you like. Here's the user accounts uh, interface. We've got uh, uh, a uh, nobody here, an account, so we can set up a new user if we want. All right, and uh, so I was going to add a picture to my Data Pioneer later, and so let's uh, let's actually go up and reconnect to my personal cloud. Let me grab a picture of myself and incorporate it into. Um, Data Pioneer's account so that when we log in to Data Pioneer it'll show a picture of me uh, and so I'll know that that's my account because there could be multiple users on the system. I don't know where I've stored my picture. Uh, it might be on the public side. Let me check there first under shared uh, pictures. Um, it would be down below. Don't see it anywhere. So that means I've got it under Dan um, Dan storage. So let me go back up and click in the Dan storage here. Let's go down and uh, see if there is a folder that I re that I recognize. Um, I don't see my picture here, so it's probably in the pictures folder. So let me go back up and um, see if I can find it. Uh, so let's go on up and let's find the pictures folder. There it is. And let me double click on it, scroll down. It's going to be, it's like dancalloway.jpg. So let me go scroll down here and um, take me a few seconds to find it. Uh, it's in alphabetical order, so it should be here pretty soon. 
and there it is. Okay, so in Callaway.jpg, let's highlight it and let's upload it or download it rather to my pictures folder on the system or pictures directory in Linux. And let's go ahead and open up Dolphin. And uh, well, actually, no, let's go ahead and go straight into uh, here, which is the user manager. Go to pictures and uh, oh, I installed. I see I installed it under the nobody account. I gotta go back. Let me just go ahead and put in the password. Alright, so let me click on the Data Pioneer account over here on the left. Bring that up. Let's click in that box and then Dan Callaway.jpg. Alright, and so now it's loaded, but you don't see it here. But, but let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and log out and, uh, and show you that it does come up in the login. And so let me do a restart either log out or restart, but it went ahead and restarted. <clears throat> and um, so when it does come back up, notice there is no uh, grub dialog box. I got rid of that in uh, Google Mon. So it doesn't hit that. It bypasses it. Alright, so it should come up here pretty soon to the login. Here it comes. And there it is. There's my picture under Dan Calloway, so I know that's definitely my account. Let me go ahead and log in and get back in the system. I'll tell you, Guru Mon uh, Linux uh, KDE 18.0. I'm running this with 4 gigs of RAM uh, and um, 100 gig hard drive uh, in a VM, and it is very responsive, extremely responsive. I uh, couldn't ask for a better response from the operating system. Alright, so we've got a wired connection, we've got the Yakawaki, that's the pull-down uh, console. Alright, so let's go back in and let's go down to settings and now let's go down to system settings and here you control all of your settings for your system obviously and uh, there's the Yakawaki and it's pulled down, you hit the top, it pulls it down. Let's get into display and you can see that this is natively coming up at 1920 by 1080. That's because I have VMware or VM, open VM rather, tools uh, incorporated into the uh, ISO before I did the build. So it's not required. It comes up automatically full screen uh, per the user's resolution. So you don't have to worry about installing VMware tools or uh, VirtualBox Linux editions anymore. All right, so launch feedback. Let me get rid of the bouncing cursor. So I did that already. No feedback and got rid of enable animation. That way when you click on an application, it doesn't bounce up and down. I hate that uh, when you're opening an application. All right, and let's see. Let's get back to utilities, see what we got here. We've got ARC, file light. Uh, let's get into PC Man FM. And this is a different uh, file manager. I prefer it. It does not have the security issues that uh, Dolphin has and so it's the preferred um, file manager here in my Linux system, Guruman. Alright, so let's go ahead and increase the size here and zoom in on the pictures. You can see those and you can select those and Gwenview by default will be the what, what opens them up, uh, I do believe. And so yeah, Gwenview is opening it up. All right, so that's uh, opening the picture there, and let's go ahead and close that out and close out uh, PC Man FM file uh, manager. Uh, let's go back into utilities. I've also incorporated uh, another application in here. Here's Kate, and Kate is your uh, text editor, obviously. Um, but I've incorporated another one called Cleopatra, and that works with your G and UPG for your crypt uh, crypto. You can uh, do uh, keys for uh, RSA 2048 or whatever you want to select. There's Cleopatra. It's the GUI front end to GNUPG, which is very nice. I haven't set anything up in here yet. All right, so let me go ahead and close that out. And let's get back in the start menu again, show you some more stuff that we have. Um, and here's your get the shutdown, the hibernate, reboot, switch user, logout bunch of stuff. Let's click on the console, open that up. Let me expand the uh, fonts here so we can see what we're doing. 
I'm going to run a uname A here and show you that the kernel version I'm running is uh, 4.19.1-1 Manjaro. Let's do a DF, uh, make it human readable, and you can see what the uh, usage here is of the current uh, partitions on the drive itself. And I partitioned it with an extended across the entire drive, and then logical partitions for uh, boot and other things. Okay, so here's HTOP. You can see we're running at 705 megs out of the box. We've got uh, 70 tasks, 113 threads, one running. Very good load averages. And uh, so I'm really pleased with this operating system. I mean, it's very, using very little CPU as well to run uh, uh, Guruman Linux KDE 18.0. Let's close HTOP here. And uh, let's click on the menu again, and um, let's take a look at some other things that we have. Uh, going up the tree here. There's Dolphin again. All right, so um, you know, out on the desktop, let's go ahead and shut down the system. And this concludes the video for today, and thank you for watching.